Hello. So I have another haul from Muji, the store Muji, and I wanted to show you. I picked up these uh, fastener pockets for the planner, the A5. But what I didn't notice is that I picked up five of them, but the other four are B6, which doesn't fit in my planner. So I have to return those. <laughs> so I have to return four of them to get four more of these because I want to put them in my traveler's notebook. And I already showed you how I uh, put it on my earlier video. So again, that store is Muji, M-U-J-I, right there. And these were a dollar. So I want to pick up four more. I have to return these four. So the last time I didn't know how much these bins costed. So I picked up two of them. So that I could put them. If I'm doing a project, I could put the, um, the flowers or the chipboards or the cutouts in here. And then uh, I just put it to the side instead of being all over the table. So I bought two more, so that makes it three. And I believe these trays were... $2.90. So that was cheap. $2.90. And I like the frosting on them. Because they're see-through, but not clear see-through. So it's a frosting. So these I have to return. Then I picked up my daughter's the uh, fountain pen. I showed you how they work. And these were the most expensive. It was $15.90 each. And it does come with an ink. You hear it? Inside of it. But I did pick them up uh, extra. So one goes to one daughter and the other one goes to the other daughter. So I'm going to mail that out probably today for them. And so the re inkers the ink to refill your your fountain pen is a dollar 90 for two of them in here and then the pen is 1590 and before i didn't know if um the pen you could put it in the back you can you just gotta make sure see and it does go and it writes beautifully and I love the design that it has here, as you can see, on these fountain pens. They are very pretty design there. So those two are going for to my daughter. And then the last thing from Muji, I picked up the refills because I earlier I picked up the uh, little container with the pen. So I uh, with the. Uh, a uh, cartridge of glue so I picked up two more cartridges before I can find them later on so I'm trying to get as many as I can so that goes there then I went to Target and nothing special I found these stickers which you could put them they're washable and waterproof so you could put them on your water bottles as you can see it has a water bottle here and I do have a uh, metal one so I think I'm gonna put some and it comes with four little pages in here four sheets so let me take it out to show you so that's what comes in here I think I'm gonna put this one the retro on my water bottle then it has four sports and this one life is tough but so are you and then all star you can yay you're doing great and this is all one sticker this is another one and this is another one and then the last one is look at the bright side beach towel vibes hello summer just be of a cool you rad stay fresh and that is it on that. So that was $3 in the Target spot. Then I picked up refills for my Dymo because I've been seeing 
people use this for their planners and also their uh, calendar books. So I said, oh, let me take out mine from wherever it is. And I found it and it still had. So I wrote the word so that you could see it. And it does have a sticker that you could put it on. So it's good to uh, bring them out and refill these. But the only thing, I only have one of these. I know they have cartridges to change these, but I only have one. So, And then the last thing I did get was from eBay. It's something that's been around a long time, and it's the Stamp-A-Magic. And I got it for $4. I didn't pay $9.99. Uh, nobody bid it on it, so I just put, bid it the $4, what they were asking. And so I did get it, and it's EK Success brand. And it does come with the, the stamp -a -jig sheet, where you stamp it with this one. And so you put it like that, you stamp it on your page, and then you take this out, and then that's when you stamp, you put your stamp. Because I've been noticing my uh, wood stamp, I've been trying to, put it but then it doesn't stamp very well on my planner so I want to leave this there just in case it doesn't I move it I restamp and I could put it, put it back so that it could stamp more better on my planners or my travelers notebook so that is it I do have another haul from Elizabeth craft design but I want to stamp and uh, show you how they stamp and also cut out some dies and show you how they cut out so that is it as always please give it a thumbs up if you like this video leave me a comment down below and also i would love to have you subscribe to my channel thank you and have a good day bye bye